Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading. I use oracle cards to channel energies for all Virgos everywhere. So, uh, no, I mean, if it doesn't, listen, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. But um, you can take these energies and apply them to Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Virgo influences your natal chart for the next week or so. I'm not gonna put dates on it anymore because I realize they don't matter to people. <laughs> um, but I do upload a new Virgo video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to my channel. You help the channel grow and you'll also get the updated uploads. You'll, you'll also get the videos as soon as they show up. You'll get the new ones every single week. So ring that bell so you get notified. Every single week I do an extended video which articulates and extends and sort of personalizes the messages that we start out with in, in, in YouTube. And then I also do a romance specific translation of all of these energies. So please do boogie on over there after this reading. Virgo, let's go. Oh, I just saw 111 when I looked. I've been getting a lot of angel numbers during these readings. So they're blessed and you should listen to them. <laughs> Yeah. or share them at least share them on your Facebook profiles <laughs> I'm just saying it, it would be nice oh we already have your crowning energy and I already see you're being very particular with how you state things your crowning energy is on the table uh, first we have slow and steady wins the race you're taking things slow you're taking things easy you're feeling really confident and really well protected you feel really competent in and of what you can do self-assured a sense of maturity being able to see what's worth your time what's worth your attention and what, what what's not you're in a situation that is exactly in other words you are feeling exactly how you like to feel because you're in a situation where you feel this is long term. This is going to last. This is a circumstance or a situation that I can take on for the next hundred years. Like a serious turtle energy is you're in it for the long haul. You're in this situation for the long haul and you're taking the lead. This is be generous of spirit is bold and brave and everything that you are, you're really feeling good about yourself too. Um, this is Leo energy, a sense of self, a sense of heart, having a full heart, following your heart, looking to the future. And like I said, this is a long term future, a sense of stability and happiness. The future is so bright. I got to wear shades. This is, um, also you stepping out in a leadership role, taking the lead and directing, maybe even directing the flow of something that's going on in your life. But this is long-term commitment. This isn't just, um, this isn't, uh, this isn't just like something that's going to, it's not, it's not going to change. It's, 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 uh, oh my God, how many ways can I say it? This is why you're feeling so good because it's long term because you know that this is some place that you can stay for quite some time whether it be a relationship or a job or something that you're working on that like a project that you're working on you you know that you're in a place that's that you know you're going to be in 25 years from now if you want to and that really feels good to you and it sort of boosted up your self esteem and it's all has to do with it all has to do with your comfort level, the fact that you're happy with the circumstances of this situation. That's what it's coming from, emotional, because this is emotion. It's emotional stability and happiness based on that long-term future. So that's the energy that's crowning your reading, Virgo. A few other cards have popped out as well. Let's see. Let's see what they are. Trust in divine detours. This is really interesting because this is not about, your life isn't about detours right now, but this is six plus seven. Being willing to think on your feet, being very agile in life, being very uh, able to um, move or bend or tuck and weave when you need to. Once again, this is something that you normally would not like, being thrown curveballs, but you're so feeling so self-assured, um, so uh, strong in and of yourself that you don't mind. It's almost like, it's almost like the, it's like the beams are in place. You know that the building is going up. The basement is 
firmly poured. But then you're getting all these other options thrown at you for how do we decorate. So this is like fun stuff. These are like fun curveballs. Um, cat spirit, claim your independence. You're going to land on your feet, feeling really in balance, being in the moment right here, right now, not um, being able to... Um, not be worried like think about how cat sort of had that cold but really self-assured distance away from everything this sense of this broad-minded bold sense of certainty in yourself also a lot of agility being able to jump leap fall off three-story buildings and land on your feet this uh, I love how, I know how they say that about cats, but I'm also scared about how somebody tested that theory. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, just wanted to brief interruption. Um, like, does anybody ever think of that? I think of things like that all the time. Um, yeah, really being cool and totally fine with, oh, you, you're throwing these curveballs my way. It's almost like I can hit them. You can't catch me off guard. And knowing that, like going into the final inning, bases are loaded, knowing that I can catch this curveball on the tip of my bat. I know it. Um, chameleon, act as if. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Uh, this is you. Um, basically, um, like fake it till you make it energy. So maybe this is, no, 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 but th th this is the thing. You're in this new position, you're in this new relationship, you're in this new job, right? And you're, you know that you got it covered. You really do. It's almost like people have a lot of confidence in you and you believe them because they have a lot of confidence in you. It's helping your confidence, but you don't necessarily understand completely what's expected of you, but you're going to act like you do anyway. Because of this emotional stability and this firm sense of self that all the things that you don't understand or know, you're just going to act like you do. And people are going to believe you. <laughs> um, freedom is yours. It's almost like you're above all the chaos and craziness. You're the one that gets to make the decisions. You're out of the gate. You're feeling self-assured. This is very Aquarian energy. But it's almost like even though it has hooves and it's grounded, it's like, like a horse. Have you ever seen a horse run? That part in their stride where all four hooves are off the ground. It's like, it's like, it's, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. This is like all four hooves are off the ground, but you still know where you're going. You have this freedom to your step. You have this sense of certainty and assuredness. You also, it's almost like you're not being supervised. And I think that that's what makes you feel so good is that there's no supervision. They've like handed things over to you and there's no, there's no surveillance. There's no, there's nobody watching over your shoulders. You're the one that gets to make the decisions. And I think that that's why you feel so good about the situation right now, because there really isn't any accountability. Uh, make your dreams real. Ooh, awakening. Five plus six is 11. You're the one molding all of this. You're the one weaving. You're the one setting the traps. You're the one tangling everybody else up. You're the one pulling the strings. It's you. You're the one dictating this. This is also, this can be grandparent energy, grandmother energy specifically. It's like every time I see a spider, I say, hey, grandma, because it's supposed to be like grandma spirit. Hi, gorgeous. My dog is looking right at me. She's so cute. She's kind of trying to hint to me that it's time to go out, but I'm finishing your reading. So, um, It's almost like if at one point you were controlled, now you're the one with the reins in your hand and you like the feeling. You're almost a little bit, a little bit cocky, reveling in it, maybe just slightly too much. Like I want you to feel good about yourself, but there is also a sense of um, like having a hunger for it and like maybe a little bit just bordering on control happy. Um, Sing your own song. Yeah, damn. You are singing your own praises. You, you, you say whatever you want to say. You're not even care. You don't care. 
So you're in a you're in a state of non-accountability or or in a place where you don't have to worry or don't think you have to worry. So be warned because this could be some a sense of like it it's good that you feel good, but this could also be such a sense of self-pride that you're getting yourself, you're setting yourself up for a trap. In other words, in, either you will in, inevitably get tangled up in the web that you're weaving or somebody has already set a trap or there are just like, you know, a spider web, it's hard to see sometimes and you could be walking right into it, singing a song, being really confident and really cocky and feeling so good and not realizing you're walking right into a black widow. Um... Or it's like somebody is trying to catch you out with the words that you say. So be be wary of that because I know you're feeling really good and you're feeling really confident and you're feeling like you're being you're above it all, but you're really not. And it could be like somebody's trying to catch you out and and use your words against you or capture your words or listen to your words and then sh like use it as a way to like spin their. Um, in their web around you um time to let go energy of something's been gnawing at your heart maybe something's been building up inside of you in some ways you do know that this is coming or in some ways you don't want to let go you're having a hard time relinquishing this sort of connection to the past or a sense of you're ready to let it go, but it won't let you go. Time to let go. Releasing whatever it is that's gnawing on your heart or causing you pain. But it's almost like you're having a hard time understanding the difference between having confidence and, and being cocky. That's what I'm saying. Because you should be happy about the situation. You should be happy about the scenario. And yeah, you know, fake it till you make it. Be confident. But don't get so cocky that you forget you really aren't the one in complete charge right now or yet. Even if you're running your own business, there is a sense of obligation to patrons who might be listening to what you say. So there is a little bit of a subverted danger here. Then we have your three grounding cards. Transformation is beautiful. So this is a true transition for you. It's a growth spurt. It's you changing and developing and going on to a more mature phase in your life spreading your wings and being able to fly and also finding a place where you really belong and fit in surrender now is here you're flying right into the thick of things like a moth to a flame you almost can't resist this um which can be dangerous energy this is a sagittarius energy more sagittarius energy because this is sagittarius energy too i don't know if you're dealing with a sagittarius or you're just trying to make sense of a very chaotic situation but there is a sense of you having the confidence to fly right into the thick of it because you can bring order to it. So this is three plus nine equals 12, which is three um, balance. It, you have a sense of balance and stability. So you're not afraid of getting burned. Co-create with spirit. This is divine intervention. This is eight. This is the number one plus seven equals eight. So this is destiny, something that's destined. You know that you're in the right place where you're supposed to be. And that's part of what's infusing you with confidence. But there is a certain circumstance of, I don't want to get burned. Or uh, watch out, don't get burned type of energy. Um, you're flying right into the thick of things. And you really feel like you can control this fire. I do believe for the most part, you can control the fire. But do you know who created it? Because watch out because there's still an arson out there. That's what I'm saying. Now you are protected. There's a little, there's divine intervention happening here, but listen to spirit and trust the signs and synchronicities. If ravens start to show up, listen to what they have to say. Like stay connected with spirit. Don't, in other words, that's the difference between being confident and being self-assured or being cocky. Like thinking you don't need anybody else. You always need spiritual guidance. So if those signs start coming up, be like, hmm, oh, okay. No, I hear you. I hear this. So maybe now I kind of lay low for a second. Maybe today I go into the office even though. You know, even though I know I can get away with it or I could usually get away with not going in. Like so, something like that. Like listen to the sign. No, don't do that, Wendy. Don't do that. Listen to the signs because they will be there for you to help you from flying right into the flame. And you don't want to get singed. So hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a review, 444. This is a sense of warning 
Angels got you. I'm going to show up. I'm going to give you signs when I need you to stop and slow down. So that's what you need to know, Virgo. Um, if you want to go right to the, the extended, go now. You can click that link in the description box, but I'm going to flip the camera around and do a review of the card. So hold on. So in other words, Virgo, life is very good. And here's how you keep it good. You don't let the goodness go to your head. Because you really are a sense of, there's a sense of nobody's watching. You're a free, you're, you're a free bird, but there is somebody watching. You feel free. You feel untethered and unharnessed, but there is that sense of that unseen net that's trying to catch, especially the words that you say. So listen and watch, especially how you talk on the web anything with an underground network because it will be stored there and stay there and that might come into uh, play into somebody else's benefit later on. There is also a sense of casting a spell, a spell being cast, maybe to control you or maybe by you. But if so, it's a spell that's being cast sort of from the underworld, from somewhere deep down inside. And it could be being cast based on... Um, Things that have pissed you off in the past. So watch your words because you might end up popping off at somebody based on things that you felt from years ago. And that coming up to get you into trouble. Because you're going to want to rush at this with your newfound confidence. You're going to have that impulse to, hey, I can handle anything and people are going to believe what I say. But simultaneously, it could lead you into a big pitfall. So, but there, listen, you're not alone. This card is showing up to say divine intervention is happening. Watch for the signs and synchronicities. I'm going to go deeper into this energy with tarot. I'm going to pull the full tarot card spread and give you guys some more guidance. That link is below. And I'm also going to translate that into everything romantic that you need to know. I'll see you guys in the extended.